Hi, I'm Maha Bailey. Um, I'm an associate professor of practice at the Center for Learning and Teaching of the American University in Cairo. Um, and I consider myself an open and connected educator, but I don't really work on open educational resources. I think about open education as a practice as a whole. And, and so I'll just talk very briefly about what, what that means to me. And it starts with myself. Um, as I think about my practice and my teaching, I think about it aloud on Twitter and on my blog. I will, I'm think, you know, if I'm thinking of what I'm going to do next semester, I'll write something on my blog and I'll solicit feedback from other people. I'll go and look at what other people around the world are doing from their blogs, from articles online. And then I, I change my, my project ideas and assignment ideas based on feedback that I get from people. Um, and a lot of the best ideas I have are ideas that came from someone else. If something goes wrong in a class, I'll write about that. Um, and again, I'll get feedback and I'll do something different next semester. And a lot of the times, the, the advice I get is usually very helpful to my teaching. Um, and I think in my own teaching, I don't think content is, is the center of what matters. I think process is much more important. And so, for example, instead of giving my students you know, instead of telling you I'm going to give my students open educational resources to read, um, what I actually do is I ask my students to find their own resources, whether uh, by searching Google or by meeting people on Twitter. And so I'll give an example of a particular assignment that I give, which is a Twitter scavenger hunt. Um, the, the assignment is to give my students, uh, they're learning about educational game design, so it's a game that's going to teach them how to learn to use Twitter. And at the same time, it emphasizes the importance of Twitter for connectivity. And what I do with that assignment is that I ask people I know online who know about educational game design or have students who are learning something similar, if they would interact with my students. And I let them know what time I'm meeting, doing the activity with the students, and the students go ahead and, and play that game. And they get to meet people that way. And then by meeting those people, they get to ask questions. And they get to know that I'm not the only resource they have. And that opens up my classroom so that the students don't feel like they're just talking to each other and to me, but they're actually getting advice from others outside of the classroom, whether they are Egyptian educational gamers or game designers or people all over the world. Um, and they get really, really um, excited when someone responds to them on Twitter that they've never heard of before. Um, and then the next thing is that I have my students do almost all of their assignments as blog posts. And so they get to see each other's work. Um, I curate those blogs, uh, blog posts on creativitycourse.org so they get to see the blog posts from previous semesters. And the other thing I do is I ask them to solicit feedback from people on their educational game designs. They're designing educational games. And as they go through the process of designing their games, they post those on their blogs. And they get feedback from people they've met on Twitter or people that I know. Uh, who might be interested in helping them out. And so they also get that experience of getting a constructive feedback from people outside of the classroom, not just from the professor. Um, and then the other thing is that um, generally the way, the kinds of assignments I give my students are ones where I ask them to hack things. Because I think part of openness is not just free and public and online, but also open as in remixable. Um, and so students, some of the assignments I give my students is I give them my syllabus and I ask them to change things in it. Um, I give them something like Bloom's taxonomy and I tell them to develop their own learning taxonomy. And when they do that, they just learn to question the way things are and imagine them differently. Um, I think that's another kind of openness and as an attitude that I'd like to develop in my students. So what I try to do is you know, pass on this open, connected, educator aspect of myself onto my students so that they experience it and then they, they decide what they want to do with it later. So that's, that's me and my open educational practice. <laughs>